Hi everyone, this is Aaron for that snazzy iPhone guy, and today we're going to be taking a look at an application that I've found to be very helpful recently. It's called Air Display. Air Display is an application that allows you to extend your desktop from your Mac or PC to your iPad or iPhone. So what you do is you download their application. As I scroll down here, you'll be able to see that you have the uh, choice of Mac OS 10.5. So you have Leopard, Snow Leopard in the middle here and if you have Windows you want to use this download. So what this does is download the client to your computer and allows you to actually uh, connect to the iPad. So what you want to do is once you have that application and install it on my Mac it actually shows up here at the top. I have it set to go to the uh, menu bar here and what we have is your air display is on, you can turn it off, auto connect or disable auto connect in this case it shows which device do I want to use regularly I have some display preferences and uh, for air display uh, specifically and display preferences from the regular preference panel so let's go ahead and uh, show you on the iPad so what we're gonna do to get started is we're going to open the application it's a $9.99 in the App Store so once you have bought this you can use it between the iPhone and iPad let's go ahead and open it here and once it's running you can see it's the background um, I actually have a connection now it was previously open and it remembered that connection and opened up so what I do here is I move my mouse to the right and you can see it now in the display preferences up here let's go ahead and see that what we can do is arrange where we want that display so in this case I have it to the right of me so for recording let's go ahead and click on arrangement you can see here it's on the right if I want to put it on the bottom I can do that also it'll flash take a moment here and refresh the screens and you can see it's down here on the bottom and now it's moved my dock to the bottom there is a little bit of a lag due to the Wi-Fi connection that's causing the uh, connection between the two computers as displays but it's really not too bad especially if you're going to be using it as a secondary display and not your primary let's move it back to the right here you can also mirror your displays but I don't really want to do that it's kinda of pointless for me at this point unless you want to do it use it for security or something like that and see what other people are looking at so let's go ahead and close that preference uh, what we have here are air display preferences as well and we have connection settings we also have settings here for enable touch input which I'll show you in a moment on the iPad and auto updates auto check for updates rather let's go ahead and close that and let's go ahead and show you what some of the uses for this is so what I have here is I have Windows 7 running and what I can do it's running as a virtual machine using VMware Fusion I can drag it to the right put it on the screen and I have Windows 7 running on the screen now what I do like to do is I was using this the other day playing around with it I like to go full screen here and it'll take a moment to refresh Windows refresh and what I did is I use Windows here in this case to use Zune player with the Windows Phone 7 phones that I've reviewed before reviewed before so let's go ahead and show you what you can do since this is a touch input I can go ahead and touch the window here and um, it is a little bit screwy there we go so you can see there's my applications if I touch off of it it closes uh, it doesn't really respond well in the Windows side to double tapping if I double tap it really doesn't do a whole lot but I can tap and hold and drag and I believe there are some preferences for the double tap and how it receives that input uh, but I'm not too concerned about that as far as this goes it seems to work fine when I drag something like a movie over and want to watch that but what I would suggest you do is use this more for you can use it for this application but I would use it more for say Twitter so let's drag our Twitter feed over there and we can so here we have Windows we could also have iTunes running right next to it right here with our playlist while we edit some video or this video uh, content on our Mac or PC so it's really a pretty nice application very simple really easy to set up and the response is good as long as you have a decent Wi-Fi connection I don't see you having any problem both my iMac which I'm using as the main display and my iPad are on the same Wi-Fi connection which is in the other room down in my living room so it's actually a pretty nice uh, responsive program it does have a little bit of lag from time to time which is to be expected using Wi-Fi but it's really not too bad and it works quite well as you saw right there there was the little bit of lag it's not too big of a deal because I would imagine someone using a display of this size 
uh, is really going to be using it more for an additional display to show either stock tickers, Twitter, uh, maybe a music playlist or whatever you're using. Let's go ahead and quickly show you on the iPhone. So here's air display on the iPhone. Let me turn it to the side so we have landscape and let's go to our preferences and you can see it says Aaron's iPad, Aaron Zola's iPhone. Let's go ahead and click iPhone and it will change to the iPhone. It will take a moment as you see there it's switching and now we have a miniature version of Windows 7 on our iPhone. It is touch responsive just like the other. Come on. It is a little bit finicky. There we go. We have a miniature start bar and we can use it. While I wouldn't suggest using Windows on your iPhone like that, it is kind of neat to see it running like that in full screen mode. So I think it's a pretty nice application. It's a decent price for what it does, especially since you don't have a second monitor. For only $10, you can add another monitor. I think it's a really neat application. So be sure to check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And as always, stay snazzy.